Bot New Production. Hi, my name's Dave Obutney. I moved to China a year ago, and I thought you might want to know what living in China is like. I've cut out all the boring bits, like work. This is the diary of my adventures. Since the last episode, I've been hard at work sorting out my apartment and making it home. I'd also been working on building a, a giant cardboard castle for the kids at school. Um, I adopted a cat for one day before it died. Really sad story. And the very next day, I also took in an, my new dog, Blake, who's still with me now. And she gorgeous. And uh, I'd also gotten to know Rachel a bit better. So when October holiday came up, it's a big national holiday, we decided to go, go away together to Shanghai to have a look at one of the big cities. The only thing you quickly learn when living in China is that you should never go on holiday during a national holiday because you end up there with everyone else. So here's the Bund, which gets its name because it's the Bund of the river. It's where it bends. I think that's Dutch or German. I'm not sure. Um, and here you can see the famous Pearl Tower. And there's the, uh, some other buildings I can't remember the name of. We wanted to go see the actual Bund itself, so we needed to cross the river. Luckily, someone built this handy monorail underground tunnel laser adventure journey with some crazy audio <laughs> narration. So I'll let you enjoy some of that. When we got to the other side, we were greeted by a load of tourist attractions. Uh, we actually went to check this one out called Amazing World. I think you can see what drew us in. It looks amazing. If you can't work out what Amazing World's all about, it's, it's a place that lets you pose to take some really funny photos. <laughs> um, well, you can see for yourself. They've got some scary ones some kind of naughty, silly ones. And we've got some pretty dinosaur things. You know, it was pretty cool. So oh, we definitely had a great time Honest. there. And I think it cost next to nothing to get in. It was amazing. As, it say, as the name says, it's amazing. It was pretty hard to tear ourselves away from Amazing World, but of course we had come to look around Shanghai and we didn't want to spend all day there. So we went up to the surface and had a little walk around looking at some of the skyscrapers there. So this one that looks like a bottle opener, you can actually go up to the top floor. I think it's the 93rd floor. Before I knew what's happening, Rachel bought us tickets. We may well have spent three hours building up the nerve to actually go in and there was some wine so we went from like second basement level up to the 93rd floor in this crazy elevator that took about 10 seconds. It, honestly, it was like being shot out of a cannon. And when we got up there, I swear I could feel it wobbling. I think you can see the look on our faces. Still, great view. By the time we'd recovered from this ridiculously tall building experience, uh, it started to get dark, so we went back to our hotel. And the next day we went back to Wenzhou. It was around this time I had my first go in the, uh, the arcade in Wenzhou. I had a lot of fun there. In fact, uh, we actually won so many tickets that we were able to buy some kitchen appliances. Uh, we got a panini maker and, uh, and an air fryer. But we were saving up for an aircon unit, but, you know, we got impulsive. It was the very next weekend after coming back from Shanghai for my 
job asked me to go for a training course in Shanghai. It's one of those places if you live within a thousand miles, you're constantly drawn back to it. One of my friends from Wenzhou happened to be in town, uh, Gary Gray. Uh, he invited me to join him for dinner. So this is a guy making uh, noodles in Haida Lao. And they actually make them there in front of you. It's all about the show, the song and the dance and all that. Um, yeah, it's a great place. Wow. wow. Uh, we're actually in hot pot, which you have a lot in China. It's like a, a vat of bubbling soup broth, and you get all your raw ingredients and you just dip them in and cook it, like flash cook it right there and then. So you can have whatever you want. Yeah, it's nice. Love hot pot. Once again, the world proved to be a very small place when a friend from home turned out to be working in one of the cities down the road from me for just a couple nights. Went to Hongzhou to visit my good friend Wookie. Hongzhou is actually the capital of the province. So yeah, we went to see one of the famous sites of Hongzhou, the West Lake, which is uh, famous for its beauty and serenity. Although for us it was quite noisy. Rachel suggested getting on a uh, tour boat and we were just talking about it and then Rachel turned around and said, I've got tickets, run. We ran and literally jumped onto this boat that was leaving, went to this island, walked around. It was beautiful. It was so noisy. Everyone had bought these whistles and the kids all had whistles. Oh, it was so noisy. So I didn't do much video, I just took lots of photos again. And then when we got back to town, we had a great night. It was really nice to see a friend from home. And we went and did some uh, karaoke, which was a lot of fun as well. So I guess that's it for episode two. Watch out for episode three coming soon. I'll leave it to Wookie to take us out with a song. Bye, everybody. Bye. Sing us a song to the piano man Sing us a song tonight Well, we're all in the mood for a melody And you got us feeling alright Bot News Productions